Good morning everyone. There's a decently sunny Saturday. I don't think it's gonna last long but it should last long enough for us to have a little chat. I want to chat about mental health and uh, more specifically men's mental health because 19th of May will be the next DGR aka Distinguished Gentleman's Ride and, uh, and this year Vic and I are going to take part into uh, our biggest one to date uh, Oh, nice car over there uh, which is the one organized in Guildford in the Surrey Hills so that will take, take place on the 19th of May uh, and it's a great opportunity just basically to uh, to go on a very no nice ride the event is to raise awareness uh, and raise money clearly raise awareness around mental health and specifically men's mental health so that's an event that's co-organized with with Movember not only raise some money uh, I think the event is also about prostate cancer awareness so inviting men to get checked it's also about like finding the opportunity to or at least telling men that they need to be better at raising their hands when something is not well. I think that if we think about it, uh, we're pretty guilty of this. I know I am. I'm on quite a journey recently. Trying to think about better ways to articulate what's going on. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it's very easy to think that tomorrow is going to be better and that you know things are going to improve and when they're not uh, it's just bubbling up and bubbling up until it comes to an explosion so I think that that's, that's what it's all about we want to be able to be better about just trying to find a way to communicate really because it's not that we don't want to we just that we don't know how to and there seems to be no middle ground between like whining and you know and being tough and, and things like that and it's it's really challenging so so for the third year we're going to take part in the DGR the first year we did in Margate with the Mali, Mal, uh, Mali Beach Race kind of team and it was a lot of fun that was our first one that was probably the best way to start it was about I don't know 150 200 riders uh, it was a small ride, but it was the first time we rode in a road, so that was a good way to learn. Last year we did Reading, uh, and it was really nice in some parts, uh, and we kind of piggybacked on the fact that we wanted some friends around there to kind of ride this specific ride. But this year we said, okay, we want to do the, the Madage Beach race once again. And that's going to be in Margate, so on the Saturday we're going to ride all the way to Margate just to enjoy the lunatics racing on the beach. Uh, and uh, what that means is that we're going to have to ride all the way back home that night. It's about like 200 miles in a day, so it's not the end of the world. Hey, look, oh, you're on the wrong side of the road. But um, by doing so, we wanted to kind of have a DGR that would be quite local to us and the localest one, if that's the word, would be Guildford, it's about like 20, 10, 20 miles away so this is the one we decided to kind of describe it. so I'll put a link in the description below uh, Vic is still having an airing to see whether or not she's going to do it with her own bike this year or go pillion uh, it's quite intimidating to ride in a group and so far we anticipate that there be over 600 people doing that right so I can see where she's coming from but the goal is very much to raise some money uh, for, for, that, for those charities that are Movember and, and the other charities that they support for the DGR so if you don't know anything about it I, I guess the best way to look, about, to look at it uh, Moto Fields from Australia did a few cool videos about this and I think that's how I heard about it the first time around uh, so I invite you to go check him, check out his videos. Um, and if you're not into motorcycles, well, you can still like donate money to support those charities. Uh, and uh, you can also go on the side of the road, check out where the localest ride is to you. There's plenty around the world. It's all on the same day. Like we have a crew now of people riding 
modern classics in South London and we're trying to at least we chat on WhatsApp quite a bit about what we want to do and now that spring is upon us uh, group rides are, are going to come together more and more so we're going to share more of that with you guys in the future one of the things that we we really enjoy with that is that we we can talk about the effect of writing and the effect that writing has on us and on our mental health specifically the way we can escape as men empty our heads for an hour two hours three hours whatever time you we spend on the saddle and just empty our heads be in the moment and how good it feels to kind of relieve ourselves from the day-to-day -day pressures of, of work and you know there's been a lot of doom and gloom i guess over the past couple of years since covid really with people losing their jobs and you know inflation and recessions and elections coming up and you know dividing everybody around the world so when we jump on the bikes there's none of that there's no politics there's no parties there's no classes we just on the same piece of road enjoying the same experience of floating through the environment and it's really that it's, it's being in the moment being present and and forgetting about everything and for that brief moment we feel really good about things and i think this is where there needs to be other ways than just being on your own or with your friends being silent in the moment and enjoying something for for men to be at peace so that's that's what i'm you know that's the way i think about it so there so i probably rambled on probably too much already but the bottom line here is distinguished gentleman's ride it's a magnificent initiative that's been growing from strength to strength every year. It's raised a lot of money, it's done a lot of people a lot of good. Uh, so have a look, have a link. I put a link down below if you want to sponsor specifically Vic and I, but you know, if you know other people uh, or if you want to subscribe to it, just follow that link anyway. You don't have to kind of donate if you don't want to. I know everybody's having, you know, challenges with money when it comes to money. Only give if you can give. Uh, but yeah, if you want to support the cause, you don't have to support our rights specifically. Just follow the links, uh, inform yourself about what... Look at this. Look at this. Inform yourself about what the DGR team is doing. Thank you, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for also subscribing. More and more subscribers. Uh, a lot of questions and comments. I really love the engagement, guys. Uh, I can't say that enough. It's like some videos are less interesting i get that it's fine we don't do it for the views or the likes um you know we all kind of go on youtube to kind of figure out what we're interested in but we appreciate the fact that people engage and ask questions and have comments and more importantly are very nice to each other uh in a pro very uh i guess couples friendly as well kind of channel uh the fact that vic and i share our experiences i'm very very happy to see couples kind of commenting and a female writer sharing their opinions and everything else they need a voice uh, and this channel is not mine it's ours uh, and Vic uh, contributes to it just as much as I do so yeah thank you for that support as well said we are still in full preparation for for the Malay uh, they are sending us email every once in a while keeping us giving us new updates about how things are going to work out and we are I think saying we are excited is an understatement we just ecstatic about, about it so uh, more preparations coming i think next week we're going to be able to do some significant like mods to uh well significant some big mods to vic's bike so kind of stay tuned for that and then afterwards like i think we're going to start like the rhythm of the longer rides and things like that so i'm still working also on our luggage setup uh, i'm hoping to be able to share some something interesting and so with some good takeaways from you guys uh, for you guys sorry um and then uh, and then that'll be it but before we know it it'll be june so very excited about about this it's been very much it's been driving sorry uh, so yeah thank you for supporting us thank you for your comments uh, that's more important than the likes and the subscribe i would say to me uh, maybe not to youtube but uh, to me it is because it means you're engaging with what we're saying and and you're connecting with it um and um yeah until next time Ride safe and um, yeah, see you in the next bit. Take care. Bye bye.